Welcome back, you guys, to Miss Messages. I, um, I'm really enjoying this game. It kind of touched my heart the last time I played it, so I took a break from it. There's you guys' warning right there, but I'm going to skip this first part because I've been through all this. I think I went through all this already. I think I did all this before. I'm just going through it real quick, you guys. Hello? Oh, no, no. We're at the, I guess, the right part. Yes. Um. Shite. What should I say? Let's hang out. Want to hang out in my room? And do what? I don't know. Talk? But I have work to do. Take a break. You always have work to do. You should take a break. Besides, we're ha we haven't hung out in a long time. I miss you. Oh, ah, I could use a break too, to be honest. And I miss you too. Okay, hold on a second. She went back into her room to get something. When she came back, we laid on the bed, looking out at the setting sun airdrops so there's this girl I've been airdropping back and forth with oh about what memes cute I think it's I think this whole setting the music is so cute is she just sending memes or is she interested in me the question of our generation you think she's gay I don't know you should be oh you should meet next you think so yeah um already like someone already like someone though oh spill the tea who is it um you probably don't know her she's a really great friend oh boo How did you confess to her in oh how do I confess to her in a non embarrassing way? What? Like a way where you can still be friends afterwards if she rejects you. Um uh -huh. Why not ask her to the movies? Then start putting your arm around her, see what there that she snuggles into you. If there's a good sign after the movie, you could ask her out for a real date. Um, I say we take a chance. Would you like to go watch a movie with me? Yeah, like that. No, I. Never mind. Huh? Nothing. Let me know how it goes. I can't wait. I swear to God. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm not oblivious. I swear to you guys I am. Uh, how are you? So how have you been? Fine. Just tired. Oof. Big mood. How so? I don't know. Like a bone deep tiredness. Day after day. Do you think you're depressed? Um, maybe. I took antidepressants a long time ago, but felt like they didn't work. That sucks. Maybe it's a type of antidepressant. Maybe you need to try a different one. Uh, don't take my advice, Ashley. I know nothing. Haha, <laughs> me neither. Me either, sorry. Not just about this, but in general. Haha, <laughs> same. So, I got this feeling that she does like May. Just a hunch, you guys, of course. But May's just not catching on to the stuff. Has it gotten better, the tiredness? Not really. By now, I kind of just want to die. 
Are you suicidal? Um. Oh my God. Sorry. Was that too blunt? Feel free not to answer. No, you're good. Yeah, I think about it sometimes. I feel like we all do, though. Okay, sorry, I had to go. Oh, come on. I accidentally hit the button, but I had to go and answer the door and stuff and then I came back I was gone for so long anyways I imagine well, she said that we all think about suicide was the last thing she said too I imagine how it'll go down how it'll look smell and the aftermath whether anyone would just care that I was gone not just about what I went how I went sorry um are you serious do you think about it seriously? Um, I'd rather not say. Sometimes I think about it. Then I'm stopped by my thought of pain. I thought about, uh, I'm sorry, let me reread that. Then I'm stopped by the thought of the pain I'll cause others. And pain outweighs caring. I feel like when you've reached the point of seriously consider suicide and not just fantasizing about it. You don't really give a, sh a shite about anything other than your death. That could just be me though. Um, dream. I had a weird dream. Oh, what? It was about you, Ashley. I was kind, it was kind of hunting. Oh my God, I need to hear this. You were in a snowstorm. I called for you, but you didn't hear me. And I lost you. Huh, what does it mean? No idea, but it stuck with me. Aw, I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay too, May. It's just a dream. Here, if you feel scared by bedtime, I'll tell you a bedtime story, okay? Ah, uh, you'd do that for me? Of course. Um, so part of me is like wanting to pass the time, but I don't want to pass time. Let's stay outside, see what they say. This is relaxing, but I'm also getting tired. Really? I'm wide awake. I think I'm just tired in general. How so? Do you ever feel like every day is the same day? Kind of. I do right now. It's a satisfying short. No. no. <sighs> you guys, I messed that word completely up. I was gonna say monogamy. Monotony. A day where I stay inside, windows open with the tea, and a book is a good shit. Shit, sorry. Excuse my language, you guys. Oh? Do you not feel the same? I don't know. I feel like I wake up, do things I don't enjoy, go to sleep, then do it all over again. Huh, I can understand that. You can? I mean, I feel like that when I'm absolutely must do something I don't like, like math. Yeah? Yeah, you're definitely not alone. I feel like a lot of people do things because they're supposed to, not because it makes them happy. I think it's more than doing things that make you happy though. I need purpose. I want to feel like my life has direction. This, the music in here is so chill and mellow. I love it. It's cliche, but why not do what you love? It's not easy. If I knew 
what I love doing, I'd be doing it by now. But I don't know what I want to do. Uh, I'll help you. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. We'll figure this out. I'll try out every hobby and profession with you if it takes. <laughs> if that's what it takes. I'm sorry guys. I have this cough that won't go away. Thank you. Why are you so good to me? <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. Because I'm worried about you and I care about you. I want you to feel better. I want to bring up her parents, but I feel like that's a touchy subject. We talk more about everything and nothing. From TV shows to memes to the worst fears and biggest desires. Before I knew it, evening dawn. I gotta go. I have work. Yeah, good luck. I'm always down to hang again. Yay, thank you for listening to me. It really means a lot. Although I also have work, I didn't regret talking to May one bit. Wow, time flies by fast. Yes, 627. Time flew by really fast. I kind of need to use the bathroom. Must be all that tea. So I'm going to go to the bathroom because she already hinted that she needs to go to the bathroom. And then I'm going to go. I'm so glad I came in here. I opened the door to my room. Wait, May. She didn't seem to hear or see me. I'm glad I came in here. Hey, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Yeah, don't apologize, honey. I... Are you really okay? Are you really okay? You don't look okay. I... I need to go hug her. Wait, don't go. Can I hug you? She not. Oh, I want her to. I want her to understand that that she has someone out there. But it's so hard to pull people out of depression, and pe a lot of people don't understand that depression will eat you whole. She didn't want someone accidentally seeing her like this. I hugged her. I wanted to say something, yet didn't want to break the silence. After a pause, she spoke. Thank you. Um, I guess I'm not okay. I just say I'm okay because it's a gut reaction. I really feel okay, but I don't want to bother anyone. Especially you. You're so kind. I made soothing motions on her back. Why are you sad? Why are you sad? I don't know. I... I don't really want to talk right now. That's okay. I'm here for you. This is so pretty. I love the art form of this game. I'm not a professional or anything, but when you need to talk, I'll always listen. Thank you again. Is there anything I can do? Hug. Just hug. It's been weeks since that day. Man, and I had gotten even closer. I didn't even consider her one of my best friends. Although I supported her, I didn't want to feel responsible for her. Didn't want her to be dependent on me. So we drove around to every therapist in town until we could find one she liked. One night, May hugged me by surprise. May? Thank you. Me? Wait, for what? What for, sorry. I, um, don't know how to say this without seeming emotionally oh 
constipated. I'm constipated right now. <laughs> Thanks for caring about me, for listening to me. I couldn't tell you before because I was sad, but I appreciate you, really. Aw, anytime. Thank you, too, for being my friend. You teach me to be more kind. Oh, my God. No, you. No, you. Oh, no, reverse. Later that night, she gave me a note, both hunting and touching. It read, I was buried in the blizzard. The snow felt powerful and unpredictable, never ending. I weakly cried for help and no one came. My voice lost in the snow. But you saw my message. You grabbed a shovel, helped, and I could finally open my door. There's something to look forward to after all. Thank you. After all. <coughs> after all, sorry. Thank you for playing by Angela. Uh, Angela. This is a truly good game. You guys, I recommend playing this on your own and doing it your way. You can find it on each.io. I think it's itch.io. You can find it there. This is a really good game, and I might go back through it again if there's another part to it. I will check that before I turn the game off. But I will see all of you lovely people in the next video because I'm losing my voice right now. So I, I need to go take care of myself too. I love each and every one of you.